Here we are again, Endless Veil. Vale. Now, when it comes to a Kepri Sting DMT build, which is the analog of that Lucky Pants Last Word setup, I usually snipe with it. But on Endless Veil, vale, I think having a shotgun makes much more sense. And I'll be playing Top Tree Night Stalker. You might be wondering how this is going to work when Kepri Sting is reliant on being inside of a smoke grenade, and this sort of sets a smoke trap. So to get it to activate, you have to break your own smoke trap to be able to see the wall hacks that Kepri Sting gives you. We're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to challenge normally for the most part. And then timer our smoke for when we need it most. I made it in. Let's roll. They did really good going to field. I thought they were both going through cubby. The uh, lightning grenade got me because I had to play awkward positioning around it. So that's what led to my demise there. Made me hesitate for that one second. I'll have a smoke back in a moment. I can wait on my dodge now to time this. Teammate, please. Good pick. Shatter dive incoming. Part two. Yeah, we already knew what was happening there. Teammate did a great job getting that opening pick. So now let's talk about this bone chiller. You can get it on Europa. It has firmly planted and threat detector with some good aim assists already. It is a nut shotgun for this map. Okay, so this time. So we found our one isolated. Ariana's is about to swing this. I got a lot of chip in. Time to slug. I'm kind of glad that I missed that headshot though. Because if it burns his Bacchus, that means he doesn't have it immediately the next round. Well, maybe he does, because he loses the the debuff. That's what makes Bakris so good for elimination. Oh, no, we're going to be fine. He's not going to have it when he needs it right here. I got more damage in. Let's roll. You can do it. There you go. Nade went in. You did great. I'm playing the team. Not the zone. Because if you couldn't get that res, the 1v1 against Ariana Bow is a little harder than you think. He has bigger burst damage than I do. Playing the teammates barricade is 100% the call. Good job. Still off radar right here. Let's wide peek it. He did great at creating space. Oh, they got arc webbed. You can win this. Good attempt. So the headshot was barely out of one hit kill distance and he hit the Bacchus right as I got the shot and I think network latency gave it to him that time. So I lost my 50-50. So nuclear smoke this down the lane. I can't repeat that because Ariana's exist right now. I know my teammates also off radar. I'm charged with light, baby. Good job. 
Yeah, being charged with light against a super while having DMT is the best anti-super uh, equipment in the game. I should probably say that I'm playing this a little bit differently because I do have a shotgun. So wherever my teammates don't go is where I'm going. Now I have the side angle. They let us have it. Smoke goes down. Now I get the cross. He does not have a super. Good job. Thank you for using the super. And this is the flawless game right here. So yeah, let's talk about that. Sniping is looking for off angles. Shotgun is looking for radar pings. You want to play away from the radar ping, make it into mid. And then you can control those cubbies with your shotgun, with your smoke, with your grenade. Keep their attention on you and cubbies. And then you look for chip damage and hope. You have to cross your fingers and hope that your teammates can play off your damage. I have to reiterate, because some people don't watch all my commentaries, that although there are zones on this map, that doesn't mean you have to immediately play them. Even when the zone comes up, you can still ignore it. You have a long time before they can capture it. If I had to go for another one of these, I would say I want Acherize Rounds right here and a Handling Masterwork right here. As for the DMT, this is the second best roll you can get. It is all stability with high cals. You can get one with fluted barrel and a, what do they call it, a recoil stock. And I think it gives a better stat total for just everything as opposed to just stability. Okay, let's see what we're rocking. Juggernaut. Okay, so a lot of melee. The only person who doesn't have a shotgun has Shatter Dive. Lightning Nade. I'm ready to 180 and shoot it off the wall. Now I can make the swap to a regular shoddy if Slug's not going to do it for me. But I think Slug is the play to stay out of that lunge distance. Please don't do it. One minute left. Now I get my res. Cancel theirs. Got the smoke. We know he has shoddy. Oh, I was going to say we could lose that. That was dangerous. I think the play there is back up. We regroup. We get back to the bodies. We play a 2v1 while he has zone. And we push him off with team shot until we can get the res. I'm going where my teammates are not. Okay. I'm going to have to waste my trick smoke just to make him think I'm there. And then team shot with tube. We don't have a choice. We can't win otherwise. Good shot. Yeah, that was pretty much just on me to hit the headshot. Oh man, we could have won that too. If I slid into him after the headshot, got a smoke, put smoke at door. So yeah, whenever it is temple round, you have to rush. So that's on me for missing an easy hip fire shot. I hit that one, but he did too. Hmm. Interesting.
Okay, so he has the stuff to hit it. We're not going to be afraid of the snipe just because he hits shots. We're still going to be able to do what we have to do. Just one of those troubles of playing this map. Good job. That is the most frustrating part about playing this map, is the mid-challenge. So I have to listen to my own advice here, and if I see red, go the other direction, find a safe way into cubbies. So I don't have to deal with the snipe. Made it in, so I pushed them out. Good. This is our flag now. We still are in this. Need to continue pre-firing. I don't know what that means. Maybe a nice try. They got that up pretty quickly. So that's on me for missing shots. Okay, so he's not superhuman. I hate that he chose me on that. Now I understand why he chose me on that. What are we doing? Oh, they're only way to come back. Let's do it. Good job. That was double dangerous because not only did you get frozen into what should have been a shatter dive, but that could have been the super. If they're going for me though, that's fantastic because that tells me everything I need about them. I'm under pressure. We win those. So the tether animation took so long that the hunter was able to scatter even though I did get the drop on him. So just like my teammate got lucky the previous round, I got lucky on this round except I think that mine I had to take because it's game point otherwise. Well, that's awkward. Pretty good clutch, if I do say so myself. That was for the lighthouse, too. I played like garbage on this, though. I am not proud of this game. Better. 
So the reason I waited on that invis is because I went off Raider. I wanted him to have to be down sights, then go to hip fire and be like, well, is he going around the map? Is he trying to flank? Does he have enough time? I wanted to be thinking that in his internal monologue and then peek. I have to put the pressure on him. Stay calm. So what was I trying to convey here that I just couldn't in the moment? Ah, oh, why I popped that tether? Because we needed that momentum to take it to the end of the game. Me going down right there is them a free round, and tether's not doing anything in the next round. Because I don't think they get a second set of supers for me to anti, so just use it as soon as I get it. Use it as soon as I have the opportunity to use it. That was the first that presented itself, so. I made bad decisions and I aim like trash and I played off my team bad. That was bad, 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 but I'm going flawless anyway. So no mission accomplished. I let the slug carry me. I feel like I played worse on the end of this card than the beginning. I think that's the role most people want. I think. And I think that's the role most people want too. Yeah, I'm uh, very disappointed in myself. So, see you in the next one. I will learn from this.